week three of me becoming the best hooper I can possibly be and I'm still cheeks. At the end of the 90 days, I'm gonna be going to America in a city of your choice to face other creators, pro hoopers, and who knows, maybe you watching at home. And if I lose any of those games, I'm gonna have to give the winner a cash prize. So make sure to subscribe to stay tuned and who knows, Maybe I'm going to be facing you watching at home in a game one day. All right, we're just going to do a V dribble. Notice, every time I step, the ball hits the ground. So I want you to time it. Step, step, step. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no. Now we got V dribble cross between. It should come back to your right hand every time. Add some rhythm to it. Cross tween, yeah. Push the ball into the ground. Nice. You're pushing the ball sideways. I want you to push the ball down. So down into the ground so it snaps to your hand. Doesn't have to be perfect, just keep it moving. Cross tween, there you go. Stay with it. We need to improve your ability to pound the ball. And I want you to over exaggerate. Push the ball into the ground as hard as you can, back and forth. Go, push, pound the ball down into the ground, snap it, over exaggerate, try to break the ground. Push the ball down into the ground, chest up, ready to shoot. Better, better, better. <laughs> this is trash. Just done, just done. <laughs> All right, so today, we're gonna big up Sully. He's been making massive progress. Real quick, just wanna big up Antonio. He's gonna get a trim slap right now. I was surprised he even filmed it. I was, I was surprised he even done it, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. his, his bravery is his bravery's on the next level. The doctor dish is just gonna keep shooting the ball straight at you. I just wanna have a closer look at your jump shot. We'll make some tweaks and then we'll add some movement into it as well. I've never done this before, bro. <laughs> oh, never mind, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I feel like the reason we don't really see many like, NBA players from the UK is there's really nowhere to work. You become an elite hooper from practice. There's not really many places you can practice here. You've got your outdoor courts, but then you've also got to understand that right, the weather here is not that great. The surface is concrete. And even on the good days, you can't really work out. There's always going to be someone bothering you. you. The only way you can become an elite hooper is by working indoors. For me, one place was going to charge me 189 an hour for half a court as well. Yeah, nice. Just keep getting that ball with a nice high arc. We've got two more. Ah, that was dead. But this will make it easier. It's as simple as lunging, yeah? Twisting to the side, kicking back, yeah? Nice, push back, <laughs> lovely. Well done. So this time you ain't going to be doing the twist. You're literally going to be going forward. Kick yourself up. Knee raise, yeah? Reset or do you like kick up and then go straight back into No, no, no. Did uh, you see me do that? No, I'm just, I'm just asking. To be honest, that was meant to be the next one, but you oh, ruined it for yourself. Fair, fair. I, was, I mean, I was trying to build some excitement here, but you just What's the excitement, to... bro? It's just going to be harder. All right, so these exercises are gonna help your leg stability and power, which is gonna improve your overall balance. So let's say you're coming off a pick and you're getting ready for that catch and shoot. Your balance needs to be equal off the catch. No twists like Gary says I'm doing. Get your balance right and make sure that jumper comes off all in one motion. If you guys got any questions of your own, be sure to DM them to me to my Instagram, which is on screen right now. And I'm gonna pick the best ones for the next episode. Real quick, I just want to thank Game On Active for making this series possible. If you're a hooper from the UK, you'll understand how difficult it is to find indoor courts. But Game On Active makes that easier. Game On Active is an app that hosts games and training sessions around London. So whether you're from North, East, South or West, you will be able to find a court near your area. You can find games for whatever level you are. And unlike these leisure centers, their prices are very, very affordable. Tickets to join games in certain courts start as low as five pounds. It's inclusive as well. You could be a male or a female hooper. There are games out there for you. Link is in the description to download their app. Again, thank you for Games on Active for making this series possible.
if you remember last week, I said the main thing is you don't jump and twist, right? Because sometimes you'd shoot it and this foot would kind of like kick out a little bit. It's probably best to go a little bit wider, feel both of the feet evenly planted, and then the jump is straight up so that there's no rotation. So now we're adding a little bit of movement to it, right? So hands ready, one foot back, and as the ball is coming towards you, on the catch, you want to have the foot plant at the same time, right? So it should be that and then go straight into your shot. So the lack of indoor um, access to basketball courts means that players have less contact time. So there's, there's no like secret to this. If you want to be a better basketball player or better at anything, you've got to put in the time. And if you can't find access to be able to put in that time, then there's going to be, then it's going to be an issue. Watch your feet, get a wide base. Yeah, great shot. Wider base. You're starting to twist now. When the feet come narrow, you twist. That was great. So you're not reaching for it. Awesome, that's two in a row. Really good night. Yeah, yeah, like it. That's three. That's four. Oh, we're on fire now. Someone for, called the fire brigade, man. Look at that, we lighting them up. Christmas come early. Here we go. Here we go, this is great. Look at that. Solid job's done, man. We about to go home. We about to go home, man. We out, we out. I really, really, really want to practice with another pro player. But if you told me which pro player, I feel like the dream, it would be Isaiah Thomas. Simply because short kings in it, so. As we're doing that, like the, you're creating a really good rhythm. And there's a big difference between when you've got your feet wide versus when you catch the narrow, because that's when the twist starts to come, right? So lock in on the, the wide stance. But now to help the ball go in a straight line, right? There's nothing straighter than where your eyes can see. Okay, like literally see that as lasers. You're starting to put the ball here to the side of your face, which now means that you're kind of guessing the path. So bring the ball through the belly button, through the nose and the middle of the face, through your line of sight. There we go. Right, same place on the other side. Let's go, move, move, move. Get there, because the gun ain't gonna wait for you, man. Most challenging part for a hooper from the UK, I'm gonna say is belief. I've had the like luxury of, of being out in the US for several summers now. I'm not saying that every kid in America is able to access watching NBA talent in real life, but you can get pretty close to it even if it's just watching them in the gym, even if it's just like you finish your session and then they walk in and they start working out. And being able to see that high level talent regularly makes um, somebody feel that that is attainable. And I don't think we have that over here. Also guys, just cause I have a shooting machine here doesn't mean you guys can't do these drills yourself. If you've guys got a friend or family member that's down to help you rebound and dish it out, that would still help out a lot. Let's go, 310. What's your go-to move? My go-to move? What, like a game? Um, yeah, come on, let me show you real quick. Good shit, fellas. Uh, who wants some drinks? Who wants some water? water? Anyone wants some water? That's my move. That's my move every time. I was like the 15th man in my team. <laughs> useful on the court. Yeah, useful on the court. Bro, useful for any team. I'm a cheerleader, bro. I'll cheer your name. I'll clap for you. With hands or without hands? <laughs> How do you clap with hands? <laughs> you want to find out? Hey, yo! Do you want to go start with pretty much on the spot, catching the ball in the air, trying to use both hands, yeah? Well done. Let's go. Both hands. Time and right. I said that's better. I catch at the highest point. All right, ready? One after the other, so that means boom. Yeah. Oh, f these exercises are going to help your power, reactions, and timing, especially on your vertical jumps. More specifically, when you're going up for rebounds. As soon as that ball hits the rim, you got to make sure you go up as high as you can in the right timing with enough power. What you're going to do next is I'm going to throw it to you. I'm going to throw it back, spin around. Yeah. Same side. Wow. Bam. Yeah. Catch your left. Bam, bam. Come on, man. Let's go. Come on, straight away. Turn around, jump back. I need to tell you to go. Come on, let's go. Nice, we're done. Let's 
go. Ah, uh, I love to go. All right, so let's uh, play some, you know, live against the defender. I want you to think about your attack angle, right? Yeah. So you don't want to get too wide with it. If Kamari's in front, you can shoot over the top. If he's on your hip, you can finish, right, with, with your layup. But if he's like going for the block and trying to cut you, or he's just behind you, you can cut him off by going with the inside hand. <laughs> and one. Stop. Ah, this pool. Ah, bank. Oh, no way. Me bamba. I'm telling you, bro. It's these shorts. <laughs> oh. There it is. You think you can pull the chair on me? Yeah. No way. I've got impeccable balance and insane hang time. I just can't dunk though. I'm gonna go same move again. Go same ahead. move again. I'll tell you right now. Say no at one. I'm about to shut all this shit. Ah, please don't. You start talking a little too much now. I'm about to humble him real quick. Humble me. Oh for five, Colin. You can shoot that in your face. Oh, yeah, right. Oh for one. 0 for 7, my bad. Here it comes. 0 for 1, right there. Yep. Seven stops in a row. Seven stops in a row. I might go 10 just because. How'd you let this go in? How'd you though. let this go in, though? No, we need. See, they almost go in. I know no, you're need. nervous. I almost hit the lottery. What tips would you give to someone who just started playing basketball? Take your time. You don't have to start playing right away. Because a lot of times, if, we, if you just throw yourself at the deep end, knowing that you never played the game and you play with other guys who are miles ahead of you, A, you're not going to improve, and B, confidence wise, they ain't, ain't going to help. So. Yeah, work alone or work with a friend until you're confident enough to play against other people. You got three more chances to shut me up. And that was week three, episode three. I appreciate you for watching and joining me in this journey. Guys, we are still early in this series. So any improvements, anything you want to see, let me know in the comments below. If you guys got any questions of your own or you want to see some behind the scenes stuff, make sure to follow my socials which are on screen and are linked in the description. And as always, like, subscribe and until next time, peace.